So, I made it out to Gainesville, Texas for the Lone Star Stole Competition. It was rainy. Thank you to all of you that made this trip possible. Although, what I expected and the reality of it all was quite different. The weather nearly canceled the entire event. So my intentions of capturing in the pits and all the mechanical details simply didn't happen. Instead, I'll show you a bit of the behind the scenes of the competition. The morning of the competition started in the hangar, explaining and coordinating. So as far as for the crowd, what spectators we have, it'll actually be better for them. So you're gonna be landing, your start line will be on the south edge of Taxiway Charlie on Alpha. Is that clear? What? So this is Alpha that runs across here. And we'll, uh, we'll chalk that as we get a little bit closer. We're just help holding off because it's probably washed away this morning, first thing anyway. Unfortunately, we can't paint the line. We the more temps you get, you guys go a long ways to get here. So the more you get to fly, the more temps you get to, to uh, get one great cycle. Obviously, it's like any other competition, your best set wins. The rain caused flooding in the grassy area originally planned for the competition runway. So they had to move everything onto pavement. The schedule was to have the event go live online at 1 p.m. with live air show TV. So there was time allowed for practice. But the rain, the wind, the foggy air, it was clear one moment and then fog again. John Humbard showed up somehow all the way from Tennessee with his Super 701. And Tony Armour from Dalton, Georgia with his Super Stole. Have you heard the name Dan Reynolds before? He won the Valdez Stole Competition in 2018. Yeah, they're pulling the bike for one more run, I think. Yeah, they're doing the most right now, so. Then this guy brought his lawnmower. Yeah, that's Hal Stockman. And you're running open, you're running open cowling today. I, I like it just for stole com competition. Otherwise, I don't like the cow off at all. I like how the air flows over the my doors round, my turbo bag round. Disrupts the airflow, but I still like it for doing this because I can see better and it's a little less weight on the nose. You don't go fast doing this anyway. Right. It's when you're at speed that it's annoying having the cowling off. It doesn't make any difference when you're just putting around the pattern 60 miles an hour. So, on the setup for this compared to stole drag, you're running a different prop, a different prop setting, and uh, tires. No, you didn't change the tires this yeah, time around. Right? Yeah, you did. different tires. Okay. I'll, I'll put little tires on it. I'll use the same prop most likely, but I'll re-pitch it. Um, that's about it. I'll put my, my drag-inducing things, you know, on my lip struts and things like that, so that when I slip it, it's more drag. there's things going, you know, against the land to help me slow down. Maybe some things like that. Hey, everyone. Uh, I am sitting in my truck right now. Figured I'd jump in here because it's a place that is dry and give you a quick update Obviously, I'm sharing a lot of B-roll uh, in this episode, in this video. It is off and on misty raining, and I know the forecast the entire time has been for it to be rainy. Everybody's been so supportive and positive that it was gonna be spotty and so forth, and uh, unfortunately, it isn't. It's not raining hard, uh, but it is very misty. The wind's still blowing uh, five, 10 miles an hour. I got me a poncho and some um, rain boots to walk around here because the first day my shoes were soaked. Everybody's set up. Um, everybody's ready. The live team video guys are here. Um, it, it's, it's a big production. Um, I, I try to walk around and, and showcase to, to see that this was, there's a lot of effort put into this. And unfortunately, Mother Nature is not playing along, uh, playing very well with us. So I will capture what I can. Fingers crossed at this moment that uh, somebody's gonna be able to run up and down the, the runway here or the 
the competition area, they set up an area not on the grass, which as everybody knows in the stole world of these big tires is a no-no with these big expensive tires, but the grass is so wet, it is so marshy, that they're worried about either people getting stuck or being dangerous, like when they come into land, literally planting themselves like a lawn dart, uh, just because it's mud. It's literally a mud at this point in time. So they moved it off of the, the grass onto the tarmac um, area, uh, kind of with, with, with at this particular airport, it's more like their taxiway that runs along the grass there. It's a, it's a big ramp area they have here. So they moved it to that. Um, again, everybody's ready. We're just hoping that the base of the clouds are, is also the thing. It's probably right now about 150 feet. Um, there's no obstructions around the airport, but uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty low. So anyway, I'm gonna catch what I can uh, of this event for you guys. Hopefully we can see some real competition going on, even though it's misty raining. You know, maybe if nothing else, some of these guys will get a few more horsepower with water injection uh, from this, this thick mist of water in the uh, our atmosphere right now. I'll check back in a little bit. finding value in this video, hit the like button and remember to subscribe as it's really important for me to get sponsors like Airworks, Aero Adventure, Wingbug, Grip Lock Ties, and new this month, Edge Performance. And right now, Grip Lock Ties has a special offer for USA customers. Go to their website and at checkout, get free shipping, enter the code experimental. Let's jump back in. And now, what you all have been waiting for, the experimental class.
describe a total takeoff and landing distance of 52 feet. What? We have a takeoff of 27. Epic Edge Yamaha Performance Engines Highlander Aircraft. This man is the master. Raise your hand. Thank you. Wonderful support from our crowd. Our sponsors. I send everybody off it. Congratulations on a great first show, sir. You did a wonderful job. Here on the podium. From some of the great classics to some of the newest home builds and uh, experimental amateurs. Nice air, nice flying, nice airplane. Thank you. We flew in from Georgia and my friend in the Zenith, John. It was a long trip yesterday. Well, now it's worth it, wasn't it? Thank you. All right, second place experimental. Third place, Mr. Hell Stockman, Lawnmower 3. Should have brought Lawnmower 1, Hal. It might have worked out better. There you are, buddy. I told you if you'd shaved the beard, it would have saved some weight. Oh, Woo. yeah. But it's always good to have you at any event. It's always fun to get a hangout, and it's getting to be old hat having you on the podium. Well, uh, yeah, I had to work pretty hard to get one on the board today, so. Dan Reynolds, Chinook. And I still have not looked at what the winning score is, so literally until I announce it, I don't know exactly how short it all got. It's got to be tough to say second place with that, with that, but it was an incredible performance. It was such a neat airplane, and we're really glad you came down. I hope you'll make the trip again. Well, I'd sure love to, and it's been a pleasure coming down here. When you're up against the best of the best, second place is a heck of a win to me. I never expected that. These guys are the best of the best out here, folks. They're tough to beat. Well, congratulations, and I hope the trip home goes a little easier than the trip down. Yeah, I think I'm going to be quarantined for two weeks or something, I'm hearing. <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen live air show tv i know this is what we have all been waiting for thank you again to all of you that made this trip to texas possible i truly appreciate your support if you are brand new here to this channel i invite you to hit the like button on this video hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next episode